Hey everybody, it's Gregory from Easy Eats and I'm going to be making a French bread recipe today. When I first started making bread, this was the one I went to because it's a very easy recipe that doesn't take a lot of skill, but it builds your skill on working with yeast. So, here we go. Okay, this water, which is one and a half cups of warm water, I just heat it up in the microwave until it is warm to the touch, but it should never burn you or else it'll hurt, kill the yeast and you don't want that. First, we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. You can use white sugar, that's fine. And mix until dissolved. Okay, now that the sugar is dissolved, we're gonna add about a half a cup of the four cups of flour we already have reserved so that it will act as a heat blanket so that the yeast, even if it, your water is too warm, it won't hurt the yeast. We're gonna add the yeast on top of the flour and mix it in. Now we let it sit for 15 minutes uh, or until it is frothy which means the yeast has activated. About 15 minutes has passed, and as you can see, it's quite frothy. It's actually bubbling as I speak. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of olive oil. I used fairly good olive oil for this because it gives it a nice flavor. And now we mix it in. Now you want to preheat your oven to 175 Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. Now you add the water yeast mixture into the remaining flour. That noise is satisfying. And you mix. Continue mixing until it comes together and resembles this. Lightly dust the surface with flour and pour out your dough. Now with clean hands or lightly floured hands, you're going to want to start kneading this. You just, it's almost like a CPR move that you do on it. You push out, fold back, rotate, push out, fold back. After about 10 minutes of kneading, it should look something like this. It's a fairly soft dough. It's not sticky at all. If it's too dry during the kneading process, you can add a few drops of water or a, a slight drizzle of oil until it comes together and becomes something like this. Once you're done kneading, you want to take a little drizzle of olive oil into the bottom of a clean bowl. You can swirl it like this or you can just use your hands. It makes the process a lot easier. Then you take your dough ball, coat it in the oil. I went ahead and dampened a cloth, just a kitchen towel with warm water and I'm just going to cover it and set it in a warm place to let rise. And we're back. My bread dough has risen properly and it took it about 40 minutes, but that time varies upon how warm the house is. The next step is on a lightly floured surface. Take the dough out of the bowl Cut it in half. Try it 
trying not to scrape your counter. Then shape it in to two loaves. Try to fold in the ends so they're not pointy and flatten out the sides. until you have the shape that you desire. Once the loaves are shaped to your liking, take cornmeal and just dust it in the shape of a loaf on both sides because you have two loaves. So they'll rest on top of the cornmeal. Take your loaves, set them on top of the cornmeal Then you take a knife, which I set somewhere, here it is, and just score them to make a nice design. With the same cloth that you covered it with, I haven't even redampened this, I'm just going to cover these loaves let sit in a warm place until about doubled in size. As your dough loaves are rising, you're going to heat the oven back to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Once the loaves have about doubled in size, it took mine about 40 minutes, you just remove the covering or the cloth, get rid of that, and if the cloth sticks at all, you can just moisten the cloth where it is sticking with water on a brush and it should pull right off. This is optional, but I like to put an egg wash on top of my bread. It gives it a nice glossy look, but if you want to make it vegan, just omit the egg and it will be vegan. With a pastry brush, or me, I'm using a paintbrush that I've only used for kitchen purposes. Just brush the egg wash along the ribs of the slices and don't get it in the slices because it will give a good contrast if you keep it out. Try to get as far down the sides as you can without getting the brush in the cornmeal. Once both loaves are coated in the egg wash, just sprinkle some kosher salt over them to give it kind of a pretzel effect on the crust. Not too much or it will be too salty. Once you're done sprinkling your bread loaves with salt, you're going to place them in a preheated oven for 15, to 20 minutes, check them at the 15 minute mark, and if they're golden brown, they should be done. All right, the bread should be done now. Looks amazing. Remove from the baking sheet. The cornmeal makes it very easy to just slide off. Let cool for about 30 minutes, and then you can serve. To serve, just using a bread knife, slice slices.